Hello everyone and welcome to another one of Corteva's Seed Applied Technologies webinar. My name is Marshall Brands and I'm Editorial Director of European Seed and I will be your host for today. The topic of today's webinar is CSAT. We have a great set of speakers for you today. And before diving into the presentation, I'd like to ask the team if they can briefly introduce themselves. Let's start off alphabetically and I'd like to start with Daniel. Hello, my name is Daniel Sirbu. I'm Corteva Seed Applied Technology Manager responsible for Central and East Europe. I'm located in Bucharest, Romania. Dominic. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dominic Marquet. Uh, I'm the Seed Applied Technology Business Manager for South Europe. And I'm based in Seville and Spain. Sally. Yes, hello, I'm Nusseli Fernandez. I'm in charge of the Center for Seed Applied Technology in France. Mm. Oleg. Yes, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Oleg Sharchuk uh, and I'm a European uh, and Africa Middle East uh, biology lead for Seed Applied Technology products located in France. Mm. And Thierry. Good morning, uh, everyone. So my name is Thierry Roni. Um, I'm the supply technology business manager for Northern Europe, and uh, I'm based in France. Excellent. Thank you all. Um, for the audience, uh, at the end of this webinar, we will be uh, tackling some frequently asked questions. So please stay on, uh, stay on uh, till the end. Uh, and today's webinar will start off with uh, Neil Selly. Neil Selly, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Marcel. So now we talk about CSAT, Center for Seed Applied Technology. The content of this, uh, this webinar, I will talk about what is the CSAT, what is the scope of the, our job here, who are our customer and what we can bring value for our customer. In Corteva, uh, the innovation is our requirement and is really important for us to know how we can improve our day by day in the area that we work. So in, in seed treatment, uh, I'm thinking how we can bring innovation and differentiation of our business, keeping our proposal and value aligned with our growing. In seed treatment, I would say that CSAT is the right place for we do it. The Center for Seed Applied Technology, as you can see in the map, we have a global network center with knowledge in seed treatment and crops. We have in around the world three centers. The first one is in US in Johnston, the second one in Formosa in Brazil, and the third one that we started to build this year is in Alson, France. But also we have other five centers that is laboratory center that is uh, in Canada, in Ukraine, Beijing, Philippines, and also in India. As you can see, why is the reason that CSAT is spread for different places in different countries or different continents? The idea is we, have, we need to have the regional expertise about not only the seed treatment, but also the spectrum of the seed disease and also the pests. It's important to know a lot about the crops, the regulation, the complexity of the recipes that we have in different places, but also is the idea to, to be really close our customers, our internal customers, that is Corteva, but also our external customer, other seed company. When we, go, we are really close then, is the right, the right way for we deliver the right services for them. So as I explained, we are building one now in France, in Yalson, and the scope of this uh, site, this center, will be to work with different European countries, but also the CIS countries. We are working uh, in, the, in this building and it's really good because we have a lot of different types of laboratories, treatment room, cold chamber, meeting rooms, and also auditorium. The idea is, as you can see in the end of my presentation, also to give training. And this is really important. We will be prepared to do this. The investment is quite big. Then we have uh, more than $7 million, this investment only in building and equipment. 
this CSAC will be ready in the key three 2000-2001. Then for sure for next year in this time more or less you can visit us and you can see how it's working in person. So here an example as we don't have the building yet I, I include here the Formosa uh, in Brazil the CSAC but you can see in the future will be really similar this. Good. So as you can see in the video, you have different parts of the, the CSAT, the, the laboratory part, but also the treated area. That is really important step for us. And also we have the, the part of the friendly uh, type for we discuss and have some uh, type of discussion with our visitors. The scope for the CSAT, we have six different scope and we can start with the recipe development, the application, testing, scale up training or sharing best practice, but also to give some kind of support for our market and sales. Let's start with the key factors for we have a high quality of seed treatment. This is really important because in the end of the day, what we would like to show for our customer, to deliver for our customers is the right recipe for the seed treatment. But is important we make sure that these key factors are really followed because if the end we can have different uh, uh, possibilities this. The first is the seed. The seed must be clean without dust, natural dust. Must to be with high purity. Must to be calibrated and sized but also for seed treatment is important we have the physiologic quality acceptable. Germination and vigor. Because in, if in the end we apply seed treatment with a low vigor seeds, we, we are lost in money because we are applying product in seeds that is not available for, for have a plant in, in, the, in the field. The second step is seed treatment recipe. For we have a good uh, quality of the seed treatment, it's really important we have the right seed treatment formulation. Why write seed treatment formulation? Because sometimes we can find in the market some product that don't have the really good formulation and this can impact for the recipes. So it's important to have this. Other important point is we have the adequate volume of the recipes lowering, this lowering the, the combination of the, this, this different product. It's important also we have the compatibility of the product that we like to apply on the seeds with the other components, such as fertilizer, biological, or other compounds. It's important also we have good quality of coating or polymer, because if you use coating that are not so good quality, we can lose the treatment during some process. The third one is regarding equipment. For retreat seeds, we need right to the correct seed treatment. Could be batchy or continuous flow, but with right equipment to deliver for the, the, the best quality of the application. But also it's important we adequate it, we have adequate dose system and also that this equipment is be safe for the operator. The fourth pillar is the people. We cannot have quality, high quality of seed treatment if you don't have people really train it, engage it, and also aware of this important test. All pillars are needed. 
What means if you lost one of these pillar or one of these step, we don't have quality. We don't have high quality for seed treatment. But now you you listen to me. I told a lot of recipe and I will tell a lot about the recipe. What is recipe? I am sure that here we have a lot of people that like to cook. Then I like to do some kind of uh, uh, relation with the cook when we talk about the recipe. So what do we need to do a cookie? When you produce a cookie in our house, we need some ingredients. We need flour, we need chocolate, we need sugar, milk, butter. Okay, but what else? We need a procedure because Sometimes we miss something is important to follow the procedure and the, proce the process for we pr produce this cookie really well. What we need also? Equipment to measure, to check how amount of flour I need to put, how is the temperature of the chocolate. I need to check this all the time. And also we need to take care of ourselves because we are doing cookie, but these cookies could be dangerous in the end if you don't bake, bake some kind of small <laughs> take care about that. And also we need equipment for sure for we did for we did do it. In the end, this is the cookie and this is the, the good quality of cookie if you follow all these steps. But how about seed treatment? Seed treatment is the same. We need the ingredients. How is the ingredients? Seeds, water, product for sure, seed treatment product, polymer or coating, powder. What else? What do we need more? Procedure. We need to follow the procedure. How we can mix this product? I can put all this in the same time. Is high density first, is low density first. How is the procedure to prepare this? We need for sure to make to take care about our safety and is important. We have this kind of protective, personal protective equipment, the PPE. We need the equipment for we prepare the seed treatment. And also we need to need equipment to check the quality of the seed treatment in laboratory or in, in and also in the field situation. And this is the end, the expectation of our recipe to have good quality of the, the, the recipe. So starting now with the recipe development is the first step that we need to put all the products together. Why? Because we don't apply only one product today. I have here in Europe some recipe that have seven different compounds together, eight different compounds. Then how I can mix everything together, how I can check do this is important to know how is the procedure to do this. So in our CSAT, we put all the combination that our customer request for us, the recipe, and you check if there is some incompatibility, some chemical incompatibility among seed treatment, products, and uh, adjunct technologies. What is the end of the day? What we'd like to, to have is, we don't need to, we cannot see flocculation, sedimentation, or crystallization of the mix. You can see some, some picture here is, is incompatibility. We also, we need to use the right, as I told, the right formulation of the product. Then we need to make sure with some tests, this formulation is good. You can see in the right part. The second step, after we check the chemical compatibility, we need to assess the application. How this recipe come together with different seed sides or seed shapes because they are different. If you use a different shape of seeds, the covers could be different, then you need to adjust the recipe. We need to put more, cold, uh, more water or less water, more coating or less coating, we need to adjust this. But also it's important we test this in different environment condition and machineries also. Then it's important we do different steps, start with, with the uniformity of the application, checking the covering after that you check if the amount of active ingredients are what, what will apply seed by seed we need to check if you have this recipe is good enough to avoid the dust releasing and abrasion resistance and also need to check the flowability of this but also this application is the right time for rework with market differentiation why mark differentiation? Because if our customer decided to have a different color of the seeds, 
we can produce this different color and, and adding different coating, the colors of coating. Then is the moment that we can do, keep, we can play with this different kind of marking differentiation. So we started with uniformity. Uniformity is after the treatment is the first step that you can check the covers. If this is really important because for our farmers in the end of the channel, the farmer when they open the bag and they can see really beautiful seeds, what is the relation that they have? Okay, I have all the products in here in, my, in the seeds. I will have good efficacy in the end. But if they open the bag and see the seeds are not really covered, what is the association? Mm, the seed is not good. Perhaps I, I lost some active ingredient and perhaps I will have problem with the efficacy. So it's important to, to, for us before we, we, we deliver for our customers to make sure that our application is good. And how we can do it? We can do, as you see in the first, the first picture on, on left, you see that the person is doing some kind of assessment visually, only checking by score what is good, what is not good, comparing with some standard, for instance. But also we have technology. We, we can use other kind of technology as, as this Kinsey camera. Then you can measure the color of this, the coverage in this technology based in the digital way. Other important test that you work here is about the Hellback test. This is really important for us because again, we are working with seed treatment and we need to make sure that this seed treatment is not release floating dust or abrasion particulars. Then we need to do this test in, in, in our center before to deliver for our customer. And you can use this kind of equipment. This is Hellback test. How it's work? We put the seeds in this rotation drum and we or, uh, set up the, the equipment to run for, for some times and for some speed. And you put some filter in this filter unit it is in, in, in red one. And after this flow of the, 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 the composition of the, the, the equipment, there is some air flow. We can measure if there, these seeds during this movement of the, the rotation can provoke some dust. And you can see below this some example that we have different coating distribution, but also different amount of dust. What is important for CSAT and for Coteva is deliver the right recipe for our customer that is below, really below this STI standard. And you can see here we have different, for different crops, we have different standards to follow. Other test, and I explain, is the product adhesion. Is, is another test that you simulate the abrasion and loss in the process of coating, transportation, and packing. Assessment of resistance in wet and dry condition. It was explained before. Uh, before. When we treat the seed, sometimes the seed is really beautiful, but after some abrasion, sometimes can happen this. So it's important we make sure that our recipe keep the product, keep the cover, keep all the characteristics that we put in the beginning. Flowability, other tests that we, we run in a, in before, before uh, finalizing the recipe is really important for we check the flu characteristics right after the treatment to improve packing process and the handling. This is really important for the seed production side because if you use a recipe that is not so really good, they will have impact during the, the, the bagging, during the, the, the process for the seed production. You can see here in this graph different types of the recipe, different combination of the recipe, and the seed flu is really bad in the end compared with untreated seeds. That is a really important step for we, for we assess also. Plantability. Plantability, again, is a, a test that we can do in laboratory, but we can measure what will happen. We can preview, pre predict what will happen in the field, in the plantability, in normal plantability. In this test, we can use different type of equipment with the vacuum meter, finger or mechanical meter, and Mathermax Ultra Test Standards. Three different type of the, the plantability that you can do in laboratory tests 
to make sure that you don't have failure or we don't have double C drops. Loading. This is a really important uh, step also for reassess and you do this before the, the, the recipe be done, but also we need to follow this step when the seeds are already in commercial. Why is important we do loading analysis on the seeds? Loading analysis is a type of the additional tool for the seed production facilities, for instance, to check the quality of the application and improvement of best practice. Because when the tree treat the seeds, normally the seed production sites facilities, they have some control, they have a report, they know exactly the amount of product that they apply with that amount of seeds that they use it. Okay, if the, 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 the amount of seeds and the amount of the products match, means that we have good quality of the application. Yes, this is, is real, but it's important also you make sure the distribution of this product seed by seed. As it's important, we do some tests by AGPLC or UPLC to extract the active ingredient of these seeds and, and check the quality of the application. With this, we can, can see if the, we have right application or not right application. In, in the practical consequence, if you use wrong rates, is really complex because in the end we can say, ah, oh, I apply only 10% more the rate. It's nothing for the plant. We never know because uh, it's important we use the right correct rate because some genetic could be more sensible and 10% more of the product can do some kind of uh, phytotoxic. As you can see here, in higher rate, we have phytotoxic comparing with the, with the correct rate. But okay, if I use 10% more or 20%, uh, sorry, 10% less or 20% less of the product, I have problem in the field. Sometimes we can have problem for sure. Then it's important we use the right way to have the, the, the efficacy that we are waiting for this. But there are other kind of uh, consequence. If you use the wrong rate for application, we can have also legal implication. Why we can have a legal, a legal implication? Today, the farmers are really connected with the seeds. They know that there are several laboratories uh, uh, that can provide this type of tests. And if they take a seed that they look bad, this seed does not look really well. I will check if you have the amount, the correct amount of active ingredient. They send the seeds for the laboratory and they tell, they, they take the results and these results mean, ah, there is 70% of the rate. But he, he bought the seeds with 100%. Then what he can do? He can do some kind of, uh, ask for the company that apply wrongly and ask for legal situation. But also, if you are using high rate and you didn't know, didn't know about that, you are using all the type of high rate of the product, you can also increase the cost of the application. And for sure, if you use less or more product, we can contribute for development of the resistance. Seed safety. Seed safety is a, a, a really important part of our study that we can make sure that our recipe has no negative effect on germination and vigor. Because we are putting chemical in, on the seeds. We need to check if this genetic is, has some kind of sensibility or not for that seed treatment recipe. Then it's important we do some tests. And how we do this test? Normally, we take the gen different genetics, we apply with different recipes that would like to have this information, we treat seeds, stock the seeds, do different tests in laboratory or also in field situation, and in the end, you have the results for long term that the seeds was uh, stock storage. Here are some examples. We have two different genetics, we have four different four uh, recipes for each one, but what we can see in this graph, this recipe two, since the beginning, zero days means when I treat the seeds and I send to laboratory the seeds, the quality of the physiological quality was not good. 
And after long time, more than two years, that seed, the seeds are sto storage, you see the quality is not good. That means for this genetic, the recipe two was not good. But when you see the, the, the second genetic, the same recipe two was good, but not for four. Then it's important we test all these tests before. For when we deliver for our customer the recipe, we test different uh, combinations of the products, but also different genetics. And also it's important we do this test as early as possible, not only with the commercial hybrid, but also with the parent lines or also with the pre-commercial material. It's important we know more about this relation between seed safety and also the germination and the recipe. So until now we are talking about laboratory is time. Then now the next step that we need to do is to scale up is to, because we, in the beginning we are treating small amount of the seeds, but now we need to make sure that our recipe that was adjusted in laboratory situation can be replaced in this, can be used in, in, in commercial scale. Then is the point that you do some tests in commercial, in commercial uh, situation facilities with the right situation. Because sometimes in laboratory you use an amount, a, a amount of water, but when we are applying the real life of this, 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 in this recipe in, the, in our machine, the big machine, the industrial machine, it's necessary to do some small adjustment. Then it's important to do this spread scale uh, test before we start to treat commercially the seeds. So, the scale up until the field is the moment for the validation in real life. Then if we apply the seeds, we can check in our scale up test, the, how is the looks like the seeds. We can check if the seeds after this scale or during this scale provoke some dust or not. We can see if this recipe is going really well with the, uh, the, the flowability of the seeds until we go to the pallet of the palleting of the seeds. We need to measure the plantability. We need to check the loading analysis. We need to assess the germination. For in the end, we deliver for our, our farmer the best quality of the seed treatment, and you'll be happy. So as you see, these tests are really long, and you and you see here in this kind of pipeline cycle discovery since the beginning. What we, we recommend is we start this test this at least two years in advance when we have a new product for, send for all the products that Corteva has and we are working with our customer. We already did all these tests or we are doing for the future tests now two years in advance at least. Another um, important uh, task that CSAT has is regarding the sales support and market support. In this moment, again, we can differentiate the, the business for our customer. If our customer like a different color of the seeds or different ideas, we can have this produce this in our center. And also what we can do is support our customer in, prepar in preparation for demonstrative material to show the effect of the Corteva seed apply technology recipe associated with their genetics is really important step. Training. Training is really important, but not training only for the, the operation, the people that are working the operation that, that will apply this. The, tra the training is important for all the people that have contact with the seeds. Operator for sure to adjust, to do adjustment, to to, to explain about the application, how is the best way to apply this product, that product. For laboratories, it's really important because they are working now with seed treatment in laboratory situation. They need to protect them for to use the, the PPI correct, but also they need to have knowledge that seed treatment in laboratory is not the same when you we use untreated seeds in laboratory. Sometimes you have some tricky situation that you need to understand what's happened. So for laboratory team, it's really important they know more about seed treatment and CSAT can provide this kind of training for them. But also we can do some trainings for our sales team. 
The sales team is important to know about seed treatment. Sometimes the seed company has a really brilliant sales uh, people, but they know really well about seeds, but not about the, the, the seed treatment together. That is important for us, for CSAT, to do in training, to explain for them how is the benefits to use seed treatment with their, their uh, genetic together and, and, and this way. And also for the farmers, it's important to have training for the farmer. How can we can handle the seeds? They can open the seeds and put the, the, the hand there without the gloves, for instance. No, we need to prepare it then how we can uh, work with the seed treatment also in field situation. So explain who are our customers. As I explained, we are Corteva. So we attend Corteva as customer. But we also have contact and we have customers that are, are our seed company. In this moment, we work, we are Corteva, but we are working with seed company also. Then a lot of people can say, well, yeah, but uh, you are my competitor, you are not, uh, how, to, how can I, I, I make sure that my results not going for Corteva seeds? We can make sure that any results or any information goes for different way because we have the confidentiality agreement in between us. So it's really confidential what we discuss, what we are doing, what's the result that we have. That is, we need to, to when you think in CSAT, we need to split this. We, okay, I work to Corteva, but I not any time I cannot deliver any information for Corteva when I receive seeds or we do some tests together. Okay, this is my presentation. Hope not to be so fast. <laughs> That's okay, thanks, Ali. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for sharing all of that. I thought it was absolutely fascinating to see the huge amount of investment that goes into, um, you know, uh, delivering a, a safe and efficient product to farmers, not only in developing the active ingredient, but also on your, your part in the, in the CSAT centers to make sure that, uh, you know, the product is safe and, uh, and does its work and goes well with other compounds. Really great. Um, now I'd like to move over to uh, a Q&A session. Uh, Corteva has collected uh, some of the most frequently asked questions on CSAT. And I'd like to ask you and, and the other uh, team members if, uh, if you can shine your light on these, uh, on these various questions. The, the first question will be, how important will CSAT be for your customers? I can, I can take this question. Uh, Nilseli explain us very well what does it mean the industrial treatment of seeds. This industrial treatment of seeds with plant protection product, with seed treatment product, is based on, uh, on a number of principles related to seeds, type and number of product used in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the recipes or to be applied, mm -hmm. type of equipment, use it for the treatment last but not the least also the the staff involved in this in this action objective of this uh, csat center is to deliver to the customer exactly why what for what they are looking for mm -hmm. the personalized seed, seed treatment recipe including the best chemical the best chemical biologicals uh, other technologies involved in, in, uh, in seed treatment like nutrients, polymers, up to recommendation on the best supplier for application equipments. This kind of services are very important for, for our external customers because they are looking for the best application to avoid in-season disruption related to the operational adjustment. They are looking for safe products, safe products for, for seeds, safe products for, for operators, safe products for farmers. And at the end, all this to have the best results. Results 
related to, to the finishing goods in time to be delivered in different, different countries, different geographies, and the best efficacy in the field. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Daniel. Um, how will CSET bring value for the key account managers? I can give an answer. Yes, please. If, if needed, uh, it was it was uh, for us as uh, the black technology team really important to to get this new tool because I would say that this is a new tool for uh, our offer. We are product, probably the best product in the in the market, uh, but uh, in Europe, uh, especially in Europe. So until now, we didn't have this uh, opportunity to to run the test, the loading test, and, uh, and, and all the testing needed. And, uh, and uh, when we can include, of course, this kind of uh, new service in our offer, it creates a much more uh, uh, improvement compared to the, to the situation where we had no, no other uh, option than, than, than offering product. So really, it, it creates really a new uh, excitement around the, our portfolio and, uh, and uh, this opportunity uh, for, for us, uh, give, us more, give, give us much more confidence in our offer for the, for the future. Okay, great. May, I, may I say also some additional, additional points here? Go ahead. Crop, crop, crop production, crop production start with, uh, starts with, with seeds and all our, all our customers involved seed companies, growers, breeders, they are investing a lot of resources in these in this technologies, ensuring this investment is well protected to release the full genetical potential. Impact or impact for me or for my, my, uh, my, uh, my responsibility, it's yes, with this kind of facility, they, uh, they will have the full support to overcome issues and also to get the answers on, on the questions. A fast reaction and uh, to, be more closer, to be more closer to them. Exactly as Thierry mentioned, it's, it's a good tool, tool for us to, to close, to close the, the, the portfolio and uh, other, uh, other parts which are in their, in their benefit. Great. How will CSAT manage the services with external customers? I think that, uh, as I explained before, we have the confidential agreement. So then can we start normally with the contact of the key account manager with the customer and they know exactly what exactly do we need to deliver as services for them. And the key account manager contacted me and we started to have some discussions, some, some meetings to define what is the right service to deliver for this customer. And but before we started, everybody makes sure that we have this confidential agreement that we can be really clear, really open, transparent without any problems with this. And normally this is the process that we can start. And we started to work and we work together with the customer, sometimes doing the same activity. Sometimes the customer like to do in their house, in their facility, some tests in the same time that I'm doing here. It's really good, it's really important you do together because in the end we can compare it there's some there is some difference or not, what's happened, and some discussion will, will be really productive in this way. Yeah, I think that's really a good approach to make sure that everybody feels comfort comfortable and, uh, and that's uh, the way to, to go together, yeah. And Nelsili, you mentioned earlier there are uh, already some uh, CSAT centers operational, uh, operational. One is being built in France. Do you know when that one will be operational? In France, it will be in one year. In one year, more or less this time, in 2000-2001, we have the launch of our CSAT in France. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. W will it also cover the cereals seed treatment business. 
Yes, yes, I would say that if all the seeds, not only cereals, but also vegetables, we work, start work with Oleg in some research in Oleg that we are doing for the, the coatings and some tests for the seed treatment, but not also for, not only for cereals, but for all the, the, the crops also. Mm. We know that uh, Russia and Ukraine are, are very important uh, seed countries. Is, is there a plan for expansion in, in Russia and or Ukraine? Yes, as I can uh, I show in the map, we have there a CSAT a laboratory there to deliver the most fast possible and more close possible the market and the, the, the people there. For mm -hmm. sure, we have one. But yes, Corteva is, is growing fast and for sure we have other countries that we have support for the CSAT for sure, for the future. Okay, okay, good. Here I have a, a rather long question. For your products, Lumiposa, Lumisena, Lumiflex, Lumivia, do customers need to follow the Corteva polymer sticker recommendation or can Corteva support the customer in the development of a recipe based on what they are using today? Yes, this is it's perfect. We can do the, 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 the both sides. If they prefer to use what we already use in Corteva, okay, it's not a problem, but sometimes as I told, they would like to be different and you can for sure support them for this new recipe with this new product that they would like to put in the coating, but also for the other, perhaps some fertilizer, they would like to put some bird happening, I don't know. What they would like to include in their seed, they can ask us, can we contact the key account manager first and we can also work together and deliver this recipe for them and all the, the, the recommendation to apply the right way this, this, this product that you mentioned, Lumiposa, Lumisena, Lumiflex, all the Corteva product. Excellent. I think it will be very busy in our soon. Yes, I, I expect to have a lot of people work with me. This is my expectation. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, unfortunately, that's all uh, what we have uh, for you today. I'd like to thank uh, Nilseli and the team uh, for joining us today and, and sharing your, your expertise. Uh, to our audience, I hope you found the information that, uh, that was shared of value. Uh, if you would like to rewatch this webinar, uh, again, it will be made available on Corteva's YouTube channel, and it will also be available on sat.corteva.com. Thanks again, stay safe, and I wish you a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.